the big band is the largest jazz ensemble that we have for this art form. You're, you're bringing together anywhere from maybe 18 to 22 different people and different instruments and to have them play together. How involved and connect at a subject level trying to express one, one idea is I think it's very powerful. Taking the talent of every individual player and bringing them together to create something that's even more moving and powerful. Raphael's music is definitely unique to typical big band music, both in terms of the influences, where he's drawing his inspiration from, and also in the output. I mean, the sounds that he's achieving through his composition and arrangement are really unique. They're, they're different textures, you know, using a lot of counterpoint and a lot of independence among sections. He's breaking down the traditional sense of thinking, okay, I have a trombone section, I have a trumpet section, I have a saxophone section, I have a rhythm section. You know, there's all these ties and crosses between instruments in, in various sections that are playing together. But I think what's cool about Raph's music is that, yes, I hear the influences, you know, sort of the spirit of that music is there, more importantly than like something that would distract you and say, oh, that's totally this or totally that. It kind of ebbs and flows. He's got a certain emotion maybe at the beginning of the chart and it gets intense. Maybe it makes you feel a little uncomfortable and then it breaks down into another emotion, maybe like slow and mysterious and so that's very attractive because that's kind of how we function as human beings in an uh, everyday life you know different emotions different situations I feel very fortunate to have the chance to work with various ensembles here in the US, in Brazil, in Europe. But to have the chance to work with a particular ensemble for a longer time, it's a great chance to, to have the music developed and create a deeper connection with the performers, elevate the performance level to another, another state. The piano is going to be a tempo. Quad the whole time? Yeah, the whole time. You, you know, kind of this pedal, and we are doing things separate from you. He knows what he wants, and that's very important if you're going to stand in front of an orchestra. you got to be clear about what you want to happen and what, what you're hearing, and many times he's very specific. But I guess you, you are always staggered, playing different things. You have like... like can you try this texture? Big bands are very related to the swing because it's the time that the, the big bands emerged and they were very popular. But you can explore and go beyond that.
point is, is that it's just, it's creative music, you know, that's well written. So, you know, whether it comes from this part of the world or this part of the world or this part of the world, yes, I mean, there are going to be idiomatic things that find themselves into the music, you know, but if it's good music, it's good music. Raphael is on the forefront of people that are really pushing the envelope and creating a new set of sounds that are being incorporated into big band music. I mean, the evolution of the music and the evolution of the big band is still happening now. And then you have somebody that, from Brazil, like Raphael, that comes in and, and has a whole nother set of inspirations and, and things to pull from. When you fuse that with big band music and you know, obviously his, his wide knowledge of the history of that music, both in the Brazilian sense and the classical sense and the big band and jazz sense, you get a really interesting combination of sounds. When we're thinking about merging different styles, the realm of possibilities really expand. We, we have this opportunity to bring something new to the table. So he's pulled some of his favorite players and players he's worked with and he, he likes their voices and brought them together to create a really strong band, which is exciting for me. And I think everybody else in the orchestra to hear how things are coming together. What makes it unique is that he's developing his own style. He's developing his own approach to it that comes out of the tradition and the history of music, but is is unique, you know, and in a really great way. And that's what makes it so much fun to play. He's fusing some of these traditional elements using the palette of a, of a big band to express himself, which is a lot of fun to play in, and, and I'm sure it's a lot of fun to listen to. Good music sort of plays itself. So when we were playing, I mean, there was just a beautiful vibe because the music was so well written. And I think it's something that is pushing the envelope in a way that's going to inspire other people to experiment with using different sonic textures and, and take chances musically. He's got to experience things with Maria Schneider. He's got to work with uh, Vince Mendoza when he was here. He studied with people around the world and around the country. He's definitely pulled all these influences. I think you're going to be hearing a lot more from him and his music. He's won national awards. He was nominated for a Grammy. I mean, and he's just so young. As a musician, I'd really like to see this project further because it's unique to what's out there already. It shows a different side of big band music. It definitely shows a different side to what we traditionally think of jazz music as. And it brings in Brazilian music to an existing format that we don't often find that marriage in the music that, that we have access to. So it's something that's really unique. It's incredibly entertaining. It's definitely a lot of fun. The music's beautiful. And just really hoping that there are more opportunities to do this in the future.